So you want to know how to change the pixel size of an image in Photoshop? Good for you! This is an essential and primary image editing skill. There's no point doing anything in Photoshop unless you are confident that the image that you are working on is good enough for the purpose you need to fulfill. And by the end of this tutorial, you will have that confidence. Let's start by going up to the menu, Image, Image Size to bring up the Image Size dialog box. Now there are two main ways of working within Image Size. You can either change the physical image size by checking on or off the Resample option, or by unchecking it, you can configure the image size purely for print. Now in this case, we just want to change the way the image prints. So I'm going to leave Resample unchecked. Now let's take a look at these three settings. Width, Height and Resolution. You can easily change the unit of measurement for the width and for the height, but I would recommend keeping the resolution on pixels per inch, not per centimeter, as pixels per inch is the standard. And of course you could type in exact measurements in any one of these three boxes. With Resample switched off, all three of these boxes are linked and locked together. So if I change any measurement, you can see the other three instantly adapt. Now let's imagine you want to find out how large this image can be printed out at. And the printing company has told you that the image needs to be printed out at either 288 or 300 dpi. Now dpi stands for dots per linear inch, that is how many pixels there are per linear inch of your image when it's printed out onto paper. Simply apply that measurement to your resolution. And now you can see the maximum width and maximum height of your image. And at any point you can swap between units of measurement. Now if my image is too small for the task in hand, increasing the image size will do nothing to improve quality. However, if the image is too large for my project, once I've made a safe backup of this image, I could again click on Resample, change the physical size of the image to bring it down to something more appropriate. Now just take a look up here where it says Image Size. This will give you a good indication of the current image size and what it will be in megabyte or kilobytes once you've committed and applied these settings. As you can see with this image, the image was 66.1 megabyte, but with these settings it comes through at 15.8 megabyte. Now that's the uncompressed size. So if you were to save this as a JPEG, you will notice that size come down considerably more. And just below that we have the dimensions. After making my changes, the image is now 2880 by 1920. With resampled switched on, if I move over to pixels, I could change those dimensions quite easily. Now if your image is intended for web use or screen output, then you need to work in pixel. DPI becomes entirely irrelevant. You no longer work in inches, centimeters or millimeters, but pixels only. So I could quite easily change the unit of measurement here, maybe if I put something like this and click on OK, my image then resizes down to what I wanted it to be. And you can see at the bottom here, on this small tab, I get to see a glimpse of that size. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it's been useful to you. If it has, please do like. If you don't like it, well, you know, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive more videos like this, and also comment, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Here you go mate, some pretty links to look at. You can click on one if you want. It's up to you innit, I'm not going to make you do nothing. You've not got a home to go to.